just about live. We are uh, just putting a couple things in place. We're going to be calling Tim here in a few minutes and uh, we're going to be adjusting lighting and doing an, uh, a few things here. Hope you guys are doing well and you guys are doing some creative stuff during lockdown. Went out to Costco today and picked up a few things, but outside of that, we've been we've been pretty close to home. Took a couple of hikes with uh, with folks. But outside of that, we're we're pretty pretty home, pretty much homebodies. As we're kind of dialing in, if you guys would feel free to share, and you can share to your friends list. You can share to specific friends. You can share to a group of yours if you happen to belong to a creative group or you have some creative friends out there, we encourage you guys to share this as well. As folks are also uh, perhaps starting to participate in this Friday night portrait drawing, we want to make sure that we give appropriate credit to the folks that deserve it and that's Tim Heron and the pretentious <coughs> Cleveland <coughs> portrait artists. We're here right in the living room, and uh, and our dog Bowie. He made a, a short appearance last week, and he's usually pretty quiet most of the time. But you might hear him bark uh, as well. We're gonna start the the first sitting at seven thirty sharp, and so as uh, as you're grabbing your items, your medium, whether it's charcoal and paper or maybe it's ebony pencil or watercolors maybe it's something what more could maybe it's play-doh <laughs> like oh no it's mr bill um we're gonna go for the first setting at 7 30. last week we did four sittings of 30 minutes the exact same sitting and so that's the plan plan tonight um but have you are you able to dial up tim I know that we're we're lagged here just a bit, and I'm gonna get his feedback on sitting and and such. One sec. Oh, for those who have not yet joined, feel free to join the Tuesday at seven Facebook group. The way you'd find it is to go to to Facebook and in the search bar place in T U E S the at sign in seven with no spaces. The the uh, numeric seven, T U E S, the at sign, and then seven. And if you would like, you can join the group. We approve everybody, and we give a lot of status updates. Uh, this is one of the things that we promote within the group. And it's a, uh, although it's a membership group, it's something that is open to to everybody as well. I see Beth is is talent, is dialing up Tim. Hey, how are you? I don't know what you guys are, are doing. Um, can you see Roger? Do you want to give some directions? Okay. Do you want to give some directions about... Oh, by the way, I'm sitting tonight, guys, in case you haven't figured out. Okay, hang on one sec, because my... Okay, a little closer. Two. Hang on one sec. You guys can probably hear Tim in the background. He's giving us some direction here. Tim and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists have been drawing weekly for the last 14 years. How does that look? Okay. And that's about the lighting. The lighting looks good. Mm hmm. Uh, take a look at your focal. Is that where you're going to be looking? Yeah, I'll look at that. A little bit closer, uh, more toward the camera. Okay. You want to pull that? This? Yeah, I'm looking at that camera. Does that work? Whole body to the left a little bit more. And then... That's... That's good? Okay. 
Excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, one sec. If you guys saw the photos of Tim's drawing station, he has a 70 inch TV that he's uh, How's that? using. Is that cutting this, the top of his head off? That's good. If you guys have done Facebook Live, you know there's a lag. So as I'm sitting here, okay, and Beth is talking. Great. He says you look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Tim. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Um, so I'll hang up. Um, you know, shoot a message. I've got my laptop on. Yeah, we're ready to go. All right. Thanks, Tim. Bye. Do I look all folded up here, Beth? Up in my collar or anything? Yes. I'm going to scooch this a little bit just because it's cut in the top of here. Anyway, we got about five minutes before we press the button. I'll be sitting for four 30 minute sessions. For those artists out there that have sat, I think that's going to be a a daunting task because I am so squirrely. Am I right? Yes, I'm concerned. Am I right? Yep. Uh, just let me know. So we've got five minutes. It's 7.25 right now. Yeah. So just let me know when I'll set the timer and you'll have 30 minutes of torture. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how long we're going to be on lockdown, but what I'll tell you is this, is that we have a big enough family where there'll be a different face here every week. <laughs> and uh, we've got... Uh, some boys, we've got some girls that uh, will sit here, young men, young women, that'll sit here as well. So we'll bring you a different face for as long as we're on lockdown. Uh, special thanks to Tim Heron and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. I'm starting to say that fast. You guys did a phenomenal job last week. I know there were some of the, of the, the folks that have been doing these portraits for years and they're phenomenal. We have some of that original artwork here on our table, right where Beth is at. And we also saw some photos of some folks that are newer portrait artists. And as a matter of fact, Beth was doing some drawing last week too. And so I'm excited that new folks are venturing out. Oh, also last week, there was a number of folks that actually took photos of their stations we hope that you can do that and post them here tonight as well. We love to see those because uh, this is an event that uh, has been going on in person for so many years. This is only week two that uh, it's digital and we're just kind of jumping in and, and helping out while, uh, while we're battling this lockdown and virus. What else, Beth? There were, uh, there were a few folks that gave uh, a few suggestions last week. I mean, I'm gonna, I got oh, my yeah. focal point Please here. Please include, um, since Roger will be sitting still and not really able to talk, um, I will try and fill in the gaps, although I certainly don't have any tips to give. But if you have ideas and suggestions um, as how you're starting out or um, special, uh, artist tips on portraits themselves please feel free to put that um, down in the comments and, um, and if you have questions because you're a newer yes, artist yeah ask those questions and so hopefully we'll have a little bit of that live dialogue and if not while we're actively drawing during the 30 minutes we're gonna stop and take a what is it is it like a 10 to 15 minute break in between mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we did 10 to 15 minutes. We had some, some folks and uh, um, they were sharing their beverages last week and we had some beer in some teacups. Yes. And so if you want to share what, uh, what you're drinking tonight, that's always of interest as well. Um, describe your environment and take a picture of it. That's, that's a special interest to me because I love to see where people create. Do they close a door behind them? What does your studio look like? All that gets me uh, 
It's been all riled up, yeah, yeah. But I see we're about, yeah, one minute away. And we're gonna try to be prompt to uh, start this very first sitting at 7.30. Guys, thank you for joining. We got about two hours ahead of us. Oh, three different people last week said and that my uh, that my drawings look a little bit like uh, Egan Shile, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And I checked him out, and they're kind of right. <laughs> I've never I've never seen the artist. He was a understudy of uh, Klimt, oh. and uh, Gustav Klimt, and and I took a look at it. And I was like, Well, he liked Klimt, so yeah, that's yeah. All right, if you're ready to press that button, yep. I'm ready to sit down and shut up. Okay. Look here. Yeah, that's where I'm. That's where I'm okay. focusing. Are you ready? I know yeah. this is going to be torture. For you. Where are you going to set the alarm? On right your phone. Here. Okay. Yeah. All right, folks. So we're going to go into the thir first 30 minute session. Send me comments if you need anything. Sketch away, paint away. All right. Well, there is a small lag between starting this time. So, all right. I feel like I should move this microphone closer. So as you've all noticed, Roger is an excellent artist. I am a baby beginning artist, and so I'm excited about just kind of sketching and being inspired by everything that you all are doing, whether it's watercolor or um, all the neat iPad, iPad stuff. Um, The pastels, it, it's, it's all absolutely amazing for my new eyes to see. I see folks checking in. Thank you very much. Steve sends. I was scrambling a little bit too, even though I knew this was all happening. And I'll note, this is probably the most still that I've ever seen Roger be for more than 10 minutes at a time, so I'm kind of excited about all this. Jane says, can't say I will pick up pencil tonight, but I'm here staring at you, Roger, while I eat my takeout dinner from Cafe Tandoor. Strange times. I don't know where Cafe Tandoor is, but we love, love, love Indian food, so I'll have to look that up. Our favorite Indian place here in Parma is Annapurna Cafe. I think it's cafe, and that's vegetarian and it's delicious.
It's nice to see these names that we recognize from last week. We're excited to get to know all of you both as uh, new friends and, and artists to admire and learn from. So again, we're here for a few people who are logging in from Rogers and My Friends List or from our Tuesday at 7 group or our um, a couple other groups. Uh, we are working with the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists and normally they meet on Fridays at 7.30. They've been doing it for 14 or 15 years. And because of the stay-at-home orders around the current pandemic, we're partnering with Tim Heron of the Cleveland Pretentious Portrait Artists to uh, help them have a model and everybody still feel like they have a community to create together and to learn from each other and uh, retain as much normalcy as possible with uh, your your day-to-day -day routine as well as your creative routine and hopefully we can all feel a little inspired together. So if you're newbies here and you are interested in giving it a shot, you want to pull out your sketch pad, uh, your watercolors, your pastel, your markers, your crayons, your colored pencils, and uh, if you know Roger and you've always just thought, gee, I'd like to draw a picture of him, here is your opportunity. He is your live model for four half-hour sessions this evening. We did this last week and, and I was the model and I've been blessed to have received some beautiful and amazing original artwork. And uh, we just couldn't be more excited about it and the different styles and the different mediums was absolutely stunning. If you have any questions, if you're a newer artist, please feel free to ask for starter suggestions or tips. If you are an artist and you've been doing portraits for a while and something pops into your head that 
could be something that would help a newer artist get started. I would imagine that this might be a little bit easier of a medium to do that as opposed to the normal sessions. Hello? Yes, it is. I did, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Okay, I will let him know. Thank you. All right, bye bye. That was just Tim checking in to make sure that we set the timer so Roger doesn't end up sitting for like an hour and a half at a time. We are actually, uh, we're just hitting, it's been 10 minutes. We've got 20 minutes more of this first session of Roger's portrait opportunity this Friday evening. And Tim says you're doing a great job. All right, we are in our first half hour session uh, working with the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists on their Friday night uh, 15 year long gathering doing portraits. Uh, Roger will be sitting with us for four half hour sessions. If you feel like posting um, your work in progress, please feel free to do that. I know that Tim Heron uh, will be gathering any of the original art and uh, sending it to us and he'll also post it on his uh, Facebook page and on the website which I'll have to look up in a moment and I'm trying to do too many things at once here I see 42 people online from what I'm seeing. I would imagine there's probably a little bit more than that. I know that it's not always uh, real time, and I know there's a little bit of delay from as we're working. And I'm trying to read comments and, and do my own sketch here, which I'm kind of excited about.
All right, we have 15 minutes left of our first half hour portrait drawing session. Uh, you're with Tuesday at 7, and you may have linked into this through Roger's Facebook page or Tim Heron's Facebook page or the Tuesday at 7 Facebook group, perhaps my Facebook page. Uh, we'll be doing three more half hour portrait drawing sessions with Roger as our model. And these are in partnership with Tim Heron and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists to take the opportunity to maintain the continuity of their group uh, getting together every Friday night at 7.30 for the last 15 years. There are some amazing artists in that group and we're excited about meeting them as well as introducing this tradition and opportunity to other artists in the Northeast Ohio area and those that we are uh, friends and acquaintances with. So I myself am, am sketching. I've never attempted sketching my husband before. And I think this is very exciting. And I'm used to doing this and being able to ask him for advice while I'm doing it. Although he would tell you that I don't always want advice from my husband. But, you know. I will be very, very interested to see all of the artistic styles around the beard. I hope that everybody had a good week. I know this is a really stressful time, kind of difficult to keep our routines. And so I hope everyone is taking it easy on themselves. I mean, certainly we have to try and stay in our routines and get stuff done, but recognize that we're not always going to be able to do exactly what we planned on in such a new time like this. Oh, thank you, Deb. Deb Statler says that you can private message her if you want tips, and I may take advantage of that. I'm Mindy. See Jennifer New Year is here. Mike Hack. Jess Adonich. Hello, John Troxel. Don't forget that if you'd like to send us uh, photos, we'd love to see your uh, setup. Are you drawing on a screen or a tele, you know, casting up to a television or from a laptop or a tablet? Are you painting? Are you using pastels? will be a little bit of background noise. We've got young folks at home trying to do their thing and work around their parents. <laughs>
couple people here and there who are just doing uh, quick, both Siobhan and, and Mike just sent me quick two minute sketches that they're doing of Roger and they're amazing. I could not do that in two minutes. And thank you for, for sending those. I would imagine that there are a few people who may do a, um, a quick tech, a uh, quick sketch, maybe in the first round to get warmed up. And then maybe the other three rounds will be a bigger project. We have uh, about eight, just over eight minutes left in this first round. Dante, wow. Dante posted on the Tuesday at 7 group. Um, and I know we've got comments kind of going back and forth between Roger's page and the Tuesday at 7 uh, page. But Dante, that's an incredible sketch. Thank you very much. All right, we have five minutes and 40 seconds left in this first half hour session of um, the portrait drawing. Hi, Judy Petzer. I see that you're here. We'll have three more sessions, so if you can stay for it, you'll have the opportunity to catch up.
Four more minutes, dear. I can't wait to see what everybody's going to create. I know that I'm trying to stick with the draw what you see, not what you think you see. Which means that half of Roger's face is looking completely different <laughs> as I learned how to do this. I see 38 eyes watching through Roger's page. I would imagine there's probably some more people clocked in through Tim's and through the Tuesday at 7 group. We are down to the two minute warning for this first session. And then we'll take about a 10 minute break and then get started on another 30 minutes portrait session with Roger as our fabulous model. Having done this last week, I know that the last five to 10 minutes feels like the longest part of the modeling as you think about how close you are to being able to move. That means I'm done. 30 minutes are up. I know there's a little bit of a lag between us and the video. So we'll take what, 10, 15 minutes. I think Tim says 30, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> is that right, Tim? No, 10 minutes is all right. Whatever it is, I'll, we'll call Tim back up and sit back down. Make we are sure smack dab on the oh, half hour. So. Do you want me to get the tape to fix, put your feet? The way we no, did I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm leaning sitting completely straight in this chair. So okay. You guys all have to... You know what this reminds me of? No. Quaker school. Quaker school? Yeah. I don't know what that is. 
I don't even remember the whole thing. Quaker school has just begun. No more laughing. No more fun. I'm just like sitting here. But at the same time, it's kind of like... I have no idea what you're talking about. Somebody else, give you a thumbs up because somebody else has to know that little nursery rhyme. So it was like a nursery rhyme? Yeah. I don't remember that. And I was big on nursery rhymes when I was a kid. But I am younger than you. You are younger than (laughs) me. People who drew you last week are aware of that. <laughs> right? I don't know, man. That light was a little... <laughs> Is that, that's probably Tim. Yep. Um, get up and stand up. 15 minute break. 15 minute break. Tim said you may have 15 minutes. All right, 8.15. That gives people the time to step outside or... Good. <clears throat> Excellent. Oh, great. I will tell him. All right. Thank you. We'll get started at 8.15. Bye-bye. Did you guys see that little spider come down? Like, right in front of my face? Did you see it? No, that's not funny. <laughs> I don't know where it, where it went to. Are you but serious? I did not move a hair, by the way. Well, that's better than when the one tried to jump in my eyeball in the car. Are you serious? That was a, sp- a bug? Did you see it? No. Ew. Anyway, all right, I'm going to stand up. So, uh, yep. oh, you know what? Last week, there were a couple things. My high school art teacher used to say, lighter lights darker and darks. darker darks. And so that's one thing that uh, if there's a newer artist, those folks that have been doing it for a long time probably have been practicing that. That looks good, Beth. Thank you. It's small, though. Well, you're drawing on a small sheet of paper. Well, I know, but still. For some reason, I start out small, and I keep thinking it's going to get bigger, and like put your whole head on the paper, and it keeps staying as small. So. All right, so as folks are, <laughs> I don't know if folks are still there, mm-hmm. where do you start? Do you start, oh. do, you, do you draw the shape of the head, and then fill in mm-hmm. around it? Do you start with something else? Do you start with the nose, the glasses, or the top of the head? How, how do you guys start? So... Maybe that's going to be the question that we'll ask since we're in the first session here during the break. I agree. I'm standing up. Guys, uh... Stand up, move around. Yeah. <laughs> I, should, I should get one of those boys up here to crack their neck and... Oh, jeez, no. Here. I'm going to sit down. I'll sit down and entertain so they're not okay. staring at our wall. Yeah. Thank goodness that we didn't paint. Hi. So... Thank you all for joining us. This is a lot closer than we normally get with the, the camera. So, um, Roger's walking around. This seriously is the most still. Uh, we've been married for over a decade, and this is the most still I've ever seen him sit. So, this uh, just shows his dedicated dedication to Tim and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists that he is willing to sit for half an hour at a time and not move. Successfully, of course. I am so stir crazy, so, and you yeah, know what? He's a lot to keep up with. It is. It is weird. It, there's You're sitting like and this, staring like that. And there's how? like this kind of out of body hallucinatory. I'm serious. I'm not. I'm just saying. Part of it I is. I didn't get that. <laughs> part of it is my glasses. I have a, a weird thing, so my glasses. I have a little bit of a, a shine. Are you watching on the time? Yeah, eight fifteen. Okay. I didn't. I didn't get any hallucinatory. I'm not saying I was hallucinate, but even hallucinating. I'm just saying that there's this like ah, uh, like for me to sit there, I have to like leave. <laughs> there's got to be other people that might say that might feel the same thing because I'm like focusing right, right here. Other my eyes are crossing. Artists, do you have to like have an out of body experience in order to be able uh, to pose for half an hour at a time? I I did not have to. Put that in it's, play. It's like hot ones. If you guys watch those hot ones videos, like they eat chicken wings and they start to like. Yeah, that's because the cap capsaicin. Can, whatever can, it whatever, is. Whatever. That's an actual chemical reaction. Yes, but I don't need. <laughs> I don't need chemicals. I just have to stare at a candle for thirty minutes, <laughs> and it makes me weird. So you know. All right, I use bath. <laughs> Oh, so thank you for being here. Again, we hope your week has been good. I know this is an odd time for everybody. Um, if you've been, I know that the um, 
the, the portrait artists have also been posting to uh, Tim Heron showing other portraits or other artwork that they've been working on this week. And I think that's a fantastic way to just keep us all motivated in uh, creating, even if it's not a, a full piece of something, but just to make sure that we're sitting down and, and kind of focusing on something other than things that are worrisome or anxious or messing with our schedule. Um, keep doing this with my hand. Um, if you have a, another project that you've been working on that isn't necessarily painting or sketching and, and you're part of the Tuesday at 7 group and you'd like to post something to the Tuesday at 7 group, uh, our friend Jess is a, a, works in soft sculpture and uh, if you're a stained glass artist, if you're a dancer, if you sing, just what are the different ways that you've been keeping yourself busy in this time to not just be busy, but to have more positive energy um, to focus on? Um, I know our daughter, our oldest daughter, has become a, a crazy, skillful knitter and so I would imagine by the end of this she's going to have knit enough things to have us all in in blankets and shawls and and bags for a very long time which I'm excited about because she's been picking really cool patterns um, my my dad does, has been learning how to paint with watercolors and he's been doing some uh, really really impressive um, paintings. Um, I have been making way too many chocolate chip cookies and comfort foods. I should really stick to the stir fries with large amounts of vegetables, but instead I've been going with Alfredo and chocolate chip cookies with large amounts of butter. Probably not the best thing to do um, when I'm sitting too much, but what are you going to do? What time is it, dear? We still got uh, five minutes or so. Oh, Do you want to show cool. one of these, uh, a couple of these that Oh, sure. Got? I don't know how close. So we've got some of the um, art from last week. Can you, is that showing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, perfect. perfect. Cool. And um, just, I'm, I'm so blown away by all of this. It's, it's just incredibly beautiful. And to think about someone doing this in two hours, I know a few people touched up here and there afterward, but it was just absolutely sure stunning. Show a few of them on breaks. Um, here's another one, uh, and Anne Lyon uh, did this one, and uh, again, we we just the different styles and the different techniques are just magical to me. I love seeing uh, how so many different artists can take one thing, and I know that's the whole point of this, and just put so many different perspectives on it. So uh, it's it's an absolute pleasure for all of us to to see the outcomes of this. And I can't wait to see what y'all do with Roger. Well, we also had a little, oh, I mean, yes. we're gonna show some more, but and here's a. We got our bonus. This is our poodle Bowie. He's 16 and a half, and I'm sure he'll make an appearance at some point because he'll get bored and wake up from his nap. And we got bonus art when Roger was holding him. Somebody did this. And um, uh, uh, Susic, um, my brain's blanking out. But thank you very much because everybody in the family was just so excited by this. So that's our, that's our old boy. That's our first group of yep. artwork. We'll show some more next time. Are there some questions on my laptop? What's that? I don't know if people are making comments. Ooh, sorry. You know what would be uh, a good thing to do is to talk about how we connected with Tim. Oh, right. So uh, we connected with Tim when <clears throat> Roger interviewed him about three weeks ago through his Roger's Tuesday at 7 live streams. You can catch the Tuesday at 7 live streams on Roger's Facebook page. Uh, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, most of the time those are interviews with different creatives in the area but Roger interviewed Tim and it was a spectacular interview. Tim interviewed 
very well. And we got to see his studio and some of his artwork as well as some of the gorgeous artwork that he owns from other local artists in the area. And at that time we found out about the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. And when the stay at home order um, hit, Roger uh, reached out to Tim to see if we could do this to maintain the continuity of these portrait sessions on uh, that they do at on Fridays at 7.30. So this is a special Tuesday at 7 broadcast, uh, at least during the stay at home. But please definitely check out Tim Heron on his Facebook page. Uh, you can Google the uh, pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. And I can't remember the name. The website is not Cleveland pretentious portrait artists. So I'll look at that and I'll make sure to include that um, information when I'm in front of my laptop again, because I can't think of the website. And Tim, you could post that too, if you have an opportunity. Um, but you can check out any of Roger's interviews by going to his Facebook page, by going to the Tuesday, join the Tuesday at seven Facebook group, we accept everybody. And all of the interviews, as well as many of Roger's um, tips about special effects makeup that he's put up there, uh, different artistic, um, shortcuts have been up there mm -hmm. and as well as all of the artists that you have interviewed over the last 18 months I don't probably. know but there, there's a whole lot of talent and a whole yep. lot of great interviews yeah oh and you can go to YouTube and look up T-U-E-S at symbol 7 and the majority of the interviews are also uploaded onto YouTube as well and the so. reason why it's called Tuesday at 7 is because it's Tuesday. It's we go live at Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a couple minutes early, very rarely does it start after 7. And usually that, that's only been once or twice because of a slight technical difficulty. Yeah, on occasion, <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't work. So, but. Oh, we got a. I'm going to switch spots with you because. Okay, in, so we get lined up. And then give Tim a call so I can get back on it. We're trying to stay on schedule. I'm really. Kind of this creative, but I am wound tight in terms of trying to be on time. <laughs> Beth will attest to that. Um, Susan. All right, I'm gonna sit, <clears throat> so you can talk while I'm. Susan Aver says, "How can we get you the work we do?" And Susan, I believe that uh, Tim will be collect. Tim Heron will be collecting that. So um, perhaps Tim can post the information on, um, you can mail it to him, he might come pick it up. Um, I'm gonna give Tim a call. You can upload a picture of it to uh, Facebook. Let's see, that looks pretty close. I think put your head down a little. Did you hear? Did you see that somebody wrote that uh, they people do go into a meditative state? Well, see, it's not just me. I missed that. I just peeked at your laptop. Huh. Hello. Hi. How's Roger look? Hi. What, I'm sorry. What are you waiting for? My video interrupted. The broadcast has paused. should resume shortly. Oh, okay. That's not good. What's up? Is it up? Let's see. Is it working now? Okay. Let me know how he looks if I should have him move at all. Okay, 
Yeah, I can see him. You're going to be able to click off and click back on. Yeah, sometimes if you um, hit re, uh, reset or click off and then click it back on, or hit refresh. Yeah, I'm still waiting for uh, Roger to be there. I'm going to play and have it just feel like something. Yeah, that could be, especially on a Friday night. Well, why don't you, um, yeah, Is everybody else seeing it live? You got any comments? So if everybody else can see it, um, Ann Lyon says he's looking okay. So Tim, I think it might be you. Okay. All right. Give me, um, post some comments if you need to. I'll, I'll get some, check with someone else. Okay. Give me a call if you need to. I think you look, I, I think Roger looks good. Um, Ann Lyon, since you can see him, do you think he needs to move at all? Seems like that's a pretty good angle. I'm going to set, set alarm, yeah. I'm going to set the timer. I don't want y'all having to do this for two late. All right, so we're starting at 30 minutes. Yeah, everybody says it looks good, so I think you're all right. Dear. I see Brandon Kimber, one of our interviewees. Uh, please check his interview out for his documentary filmmaking. Tim Dwayne says to try Roger's Facebook page and see if you may be able to refresh better going to Roger's uh, Facebook page and just catch the video from there. So we're starting our second half hour portrait session. Roger is our model as we're working with the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists uh, for their usual Friday night portrait session. Normally it's an in-person gathering, but since we can't do that right now, we're collaborating with them. So we appreciate their allowing us to jump in on that. Um, again, you can check this out through Roger's Facebook page, my Facebook page, Tim Heron's Facebook page, or the Tuesday at 7 uh, Facebook group. I'm looking forward to seeing the artwork that's going to come out of this. I think I need to sharpen my pencil.
him. Hello, do you have it now? Yay. Okay. And we've got some people who are posting their uh, setups for where they're doing their art from. Dante and Steve Sens, whose cat is also trying to um, get in on the game. I like it. Oh wow, Deb Statler did some sketching of Roger on Tuesday, as well as uh, some from tonight. Thank you very much for posting that. Janet Dodrill, oh, all set up with, uh, I see you've got it taped down to do your painting. That makes sense. Very cool. Ooh, Southern Comfort and Cranberry Juice. I like it. I haven't had Southern Comfort in a while. I love, love, love seeing what everybody's doing. I am trying to sketch and not let it go more than a couple minutes in the silence. Is it normally, are you guys, do you chatter during your live sessions or is it pretty much library radio silence in between so nobody is distracting everybody else when you do these on Friday nights? But I will say since I am not a... typical seasoned artist. I have to stop so I can actually do this. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You listen to Folk Alley. That's right. So you've got the music to kind of keep you occupied in the background. The problem is we can't play music on Facebook ourselves because then we have to worry about Facebook telling us that we're 
doing copyright infringement or something. So hopefully all of you have some music playing in the background and enjoying that. I know we discussed Dead Can Dance last week. That's one of Roger's favorites to listen to. I also like Dead Can Dance, but it's not my creative. I don't know what mine is. Although I do like folk music. <laughs> Rammstein. Very nice. <laughs> no reason Rammstein couldn't be uh, equally creative and encouraging. And I think the one, one of the members of Rammstein, they just came, brought him out. He has the COVID and they just got him out of ICU, so I know that was good news for a lot of people. We have about 20 minutes left in this session. Maria Polk says, thank you for sitting still, Roger. You are doing an excellent, excellent job. I didn't know you could sit that still. Hello to Sherry, who is a brand new grandma. Thank you for checking in with us. We're so excited for you. Your first grandbaby. Some wonderful, wonderful news in this time.
again, if you have, are a newer artist and you have any questions about uh, portrait drawing or just kind of getting started, tips, uh, whether it's on plain air or still life or whatever, there's an abundance of artists here who probably would be happy to answer questions, uh, give suggestions. That's part of the purpose of our of Rogers Tuesday at seven interviews is to continue to connect creatives in the Northeast Ohio community and just allow um, communication and appreciation and, and opportunities to meet artists that maybe you wouldn't necessarily have an opportunity to get to know. We've got 15 minutes in this session. Roger, you look fabulous. You're doing such a good job. You know, one of the tips that Roger always often talks about is the, with um, sketching, drawing, the, the lighter lights and the darker darks, when going through your, your sketch, your painting, um, if there's any other tips. Uh, I know Tim talked about one of the things he talked about during his uh, interview with Roger for the Tuesday at 7 uh, was that sometimes focusing on the negative space can help define something that you may be having uh, difficulty drawing. I do not have any specific tips. I am regurgitating what I've heard other people say. <laughs>
Hopefully everybody continues to have a good reception and are able to see Roger in this uh, second session. We have uh, just over 10 minutes left in this second sitting and then we'll take a 15 minute break so Roger can stretch his legs and then we'll have two more half hour sessions here on a special edition of Tuesday at 7, which actually began today, Friday at 7.30, because we're working in collaboration with Tim Heron and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists and their usual Friday night portrait sessions. Uh, Tim, when you have an opportunity during the break, if you wouldn't mind posting in a comment with the Tuesday at 7 group and then also on your own Facebook page about how folks can get the artwork to you um, and that n normally that's what your group does is that the sitter gets much of the original artwork done. Um, I know that I was just completely in love with so all of the work that we received from when I got to sit last week. It's it's just an amazing feeling being able to see all that artwork done of yourself in so many different and amazing styles. Um, if people want to post photos of their progress to the Tuesday at 7 Facebook group or to Tim or Roger's uh, Facebook page, you can go ahead and do that. We also love seeing the photos of where are you working? Are you in a studio? Are you set up in your living room and casting to your television? Um, are you working on an iPad or a tablet? Um, are you pastel, sketching, watercolor, um, acrylics? Since I'm just really kind of getting used to the concept of doing this, I'm just sketching on a tablet with a good old ebony pencil, which I need to sharpen and uh, enjoying thinking about all the different pieces because I know a lot of you out there are doing some amazing work with the watercolors and the pastels. keep sketching here for just a few minutes. Um, we're at just over seven minutes and then Roger gets to take another break to stretch his legs.
Oh, wow. So Grace, who we had fun with last week, she's doing you in oil this evening. And uh, good heavens, Grace, that looks amazing. I think for me, especially as a, uh, you know, just learning, I think that seeing these works in progress is just as fascinating and, and helpful for me as seeing the, the finished pieces. minutes and 30 seconds and then Roger I'll take a break So if you are just checking in, we are at just under, oh, just under two minutes in our second session of portrait sitting as we work with Tim Heron and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. Uh, it's a special Friday edition of Tuesday at 7. And Roger is sitting for portrait artists who are all uh, checking in via Facebook live stream from their homes and doing various versions of their portraits of Roger, whether it's oils or acrylics or uh, simple sketches. Well, probably they're not going to be simple. And we're all just taking this opportunity to maintain some creative continuity during the COVID-19 pandemic and our stay-at-home orders here in Ohio.
right. We survived another 30 minutes sitting. That's rough, huh? <laughs> Again, I want to remind everybody that this is the most still that I've oh. ever seen my husband sit from the first time that I met him. So this is just a testament to his dedication to art and to the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. <laughs> I'm truly grateful that you guys have invited us into your group for a few weeks. I'm going to come and paint with you live once we're kind of returned back to normal. Um, Are you going to go for a run after this? I'll probably do some jumping jacks. <laughs> Maybe some yoga. Uh. I don't know. I might go for a run. Um, let me see. It's not bad if you're moving around. The sitting is, this chair is a good chair. I think the yeah. arms are, are good for, for models. Oh, maybe is Mike Haxel out there? Um, he, yeah, I think he was. Mike. Oh yeah, Mike was our Are you winner. airbrushing? Yeah. So, uh, for the Tuesday at 7 crowd, this past Tuesday we gave away uh, two great prizes that came from Al Tuscus. Al Tuscus is an Emmy Award winning makeup artist and actor, worked on big movies for decades, and Al gave a special edition airbrush and also a special, uh, an effects t-shirt from, from Stan Winston. Winston, yeah, and some of the movies that he was working on, and I mean, he worked on Passion of Christ, uh, From Dust Till Dawn, he worked on um, Dune, and, and a lot of uh, huge movies, but Al gave us uh, those two great giveaways, and, uh, and those giveaways were, were shipped out. The reason why I bring that up is maybe my cat is airbrushing tonight. That'd be a cool one. Yeah. I bet you Matt Seal. Could airbrush are crazy. Oh gosh, totally. He'd be sitting up there. He's a he's a great artist. Let's Matt, are you out there? I haven't seen his name pop up. Yeah, yeah, great artist. Oh, Ooh. here's so here's gonna be a, a a Roger tip, and it's not anything. It's it's not mine, but I'm just repeating a tip that I heard along my art and and drawing and life drawing journey but I remember having an instructor and I don't know that it may have been at Kent because I went to Kent State and the instructor was talking about variation of line and like the weight of line and the one thing that he said that stuck in my mind and I graduated Kent in the 80s late 80s was that if you're thinking about weighted line if you've got let's say a piece of, uh, of charcoal that is you're going uh, deep into it that you're pressing in and as you're coming out like let's say a sphere as you're coming out you're kind of easing out it's gonna be a real soft line and as you're, as you're crossing you know past the front of the sphere and you're going back into the deep that you're drawing that weighted line and so it's easy and then push and weight that makes sense. yeah and as you're kind of creating a three-dimension on a two-dimensional surface that that variation of line and I remember that, all these, I mean, that's decades ago. That and and so I remember that. So that's going to be Roger tip of uh, uh, lockdown week number two. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to have, yes, go ahead. What's, and, um, so Tim says to send images oh. to, um, you can private message him on his Facebook page, mm -hmm. which is Tim Heron, H-E-R-R-O-N. He should be tagged in uh, these posts with this live stream. And you can also email images of your art to him at manlypad. The manlypad. No, just manlypad. Just manlypad? Yeah, just manlypad oh. at svcglobal.net. And, um, I mean, you please certainly feel I'll free to um, post them to... Uh, the Tuesday at 7 comments um, to comments on your page and to um, my page also but Tim will collect them together via Facebook Messenger or email so that he can 
put them all in an album and make sure that they're all together uh, for this. And by, by album, he means a digital album, and uh -huh. he posts those, and you can look back on years ago yep. on, on his website and see a model on a certain date and see the artists that were gathered in their work, and, and to see somebody's journey, an artist's journey, maybe how their style changes or how that develops. Are you going to sit down there? I am. It just looks really, when I look at the screen and I just see um, an, an empty wall with a chair. <laughs> All right, so we're going like to show it. a couple more photos. Okay. Original art. And this is Pat Phillips. Oh, yeah, Pat Phillips. And then um, this was a husband and wife. Uh, each did artwork. But this was one of the another one of the lovely uh, pieces of art that I received from sitting for this last week. And, again, I'm just... I'm so enamored of all of it. I the, the different styles. Uh, some were colored pencils. Some were watercolor. Some were um, pastels, and it just it, it's all just stunning. This is another one of our favorites. We loved uh, it being on the colored paper, and I just absolutely love the the simplicity and the elegance of this drawing just can't get enough of it so um, again that, that's part of the reason that we're working with Tim and this drawing group is because we just hated the idea of a group that's been getting together and doing this for um, 15 years and that the stay-at-home order didn't um, break the continuity of this and oh here's one did his, I'm assuming this is colored pencil. Again, I'm not as experienced in all this, so some of my guesses may be wrong, but I absolutely loved this too. And seeing just where the, the shading was done with with the colors and just, just love it. So again, this is a special Tuesday at 7 broadcast, uh, working with Tim Heron and the... Um, pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. And I don't know how many times I say that, that I'm gonna get any better at not having to pause and make sure I say those words in the correct order. We hope you've had a good week. We hope that you've had the opportunity to um, rest for yourself, whether you're being creative with artwork or getting out and um, taking a walk or doing yard work or anything that's just kind of allowing you to get out of your head and feel uh, productive in a non-work related manner and um, maintaining some mental health and some mental rest in this time right now. Um, yeah, well, know, give them the, uh, the year and stuff like this because there'll be people who watch this perhaps in five years from now to say, oh, this is That's true. March it's Facebook and this could all, I mean, this is all shareable and this is all going to be accessible. So it is March 27th and it's 2020 and we are in the middle of a pandemic. Like this is historical. Never in a million years. Do you have a timer going while I think about it for the 15 no. minute break? Okay, pay attention for the time. It's probably 9 o'clock. Yeah, okay, so we've got about five minutes left um, while Roger walks around and shakes out his muscles. But we're in the middle of a pandemic, a, a global plan pandemic, and it's just an absolutely interesting, historical, crazy time. And our thought is that this is an opportunity and Roger was certainly already um, doing his Tuesday at 7 interviews. And one of the purpose of the Tuesday at 7 interviews is to connect our community, our creative community, and just our community at large. And to have the opportunity to be able to combine the Tuesday at 7 interviews and groups with, the, um, with Tim Heron and uh, his community of artists was just such a positive thing, especially in times right now where we're all a little stressed out, we're out of our normal routines, and so to be able to do this with you um, at this time is a privilege, and we hope that it's as enjoyable for you as it is for us.
So, um, I'm trying to think. We've got Tuesday. What are what are we doing this coming Tuesday? Well, I don't know yet. I mean, I I, I yeah, think I we're gonna this. I think we're gonna watch party. Okay. Um, we have a couple of folks that we interviewed in the past. Neil Zaza. Oh yeah. Is one going back to the beginning party. of the interviews. And then, gotcha. and what we're hoping to do is to get updated videos to say this is where we were and this okay. is what's new. And and also. Ted Sakura, I reached out to. I don't know what's going on with him, but he so he released, I think the first series of or the first um, finished Bloom, which was if you remember he was doing right. a Pama, mm -hmm. he was doing Tap Dance, Dance Killer, Killer, and then he was going to launch Bloom, and I think Bloom just launched, and so it was supposed to. I don't know if it. Yeah, we'll have to find well, out. Well, I I think they're just waiting because it's all fit, I think yeah. sells physical copies, but right. I posted on the Tuesday at Seven group kind of the cover art. Oh, yes. That's right. Um, All right. We're about 30 seconds from 9 o'clock. Oh, I don't okay. know if we're, if, I mean. I mean, I think that's more up to you. Are you ready to sit I'm ready. I don't know if everybody minutes? else is. Yeah, we don't want to rush you. So if you're also taking a, a break and stretching your fingers or grabbing a snack or pouring a beverage, um, then let us know when we can wait another All right. moment or two. We'll, we'll switch and then okay. we'll <laughs> sit back down. Thank you guys for looking at my hairy mug. For the camera is so close to our face. <laughs> I know, it's like you're going to right up my nostrils. Yeah, I remember not to do that again. <laughs> oh, by the way, my, my nose is crooked, so if you're wondering, and uh, I've always... I always thought that I wouldn't be able to breathe in my nose for two hours, but, and I'm not a mouth breather, but. <laughs> no, thank goodness. thank goodness. I'm very grateful. I love you, and I would love you even if you were a mouth breather, but I'm glad that you're not. Are right, you going to call Tim? Oh, by the way, thank you, Mindy, for my Tuesday oh, at yeah. 7. Yeah. Mug, this is, I think, is, uh, this mug is phenomenal not just because it says Tuesday at 7 and she made it but because it's a good mug it's like a Yeti yeah it keeps the code you want to call Tim are, and get me set up um all right or perhaps not um sorry I'm trying to keep track of all the um <clears throat> comments and photos and everything outside collar guys I don't know if my lean is right Are you looking at the same spot? Hey, are you, can you see okay? No, no, you're chopping off this forehead. Somehow the camera got closer, but wait, we just out. The camera got closer? Top of his head here, somehow. Okay. Hmm, let me move that. You gotta move the camera higher, move this. Is that good? Remember, no, he's, yeah, he's delayed. Oh, too much. Uh, perfect, right there. That's good. That's good. I probably slouched. Oh, yeah, I'm Okay, I am starting the timer. It is 9.02 and I'm hitting start for another 30 minute session. Um, get started, I'm seeing some beautiful portraits. Uh, Anthony Robin Robinson is uh, working on his iPad. Thank you very much, um, Aaron, for posting your artwork. Um, some people are bumping out early, but uh, we really appreciate you all posting the pictures. Deb Steitler, Steitler. 
Um, Melissa Mary, looks like pastels. Uh, Tim reminded as a comment, uh, because there are so many newcomers, that what the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists do is that they give the drawing in exchange for the model's effort, um, normally when they meet on Fridays. But since this is obviously an unusual situation, he will collect as many as possible from the regulars and then deliver them. But also in the meantime, certainly any photos that you post can be downloaded. So um, if you want to send images to Tim on his, by messenger on his Facebook page or by email, manlypad at sbcglobal.net. And Lion just posted a picture. Oh my gosh, I just love, love, love seeing all this stuff in um, in progress. Um, Karen Petkovic asked if you can save this Facebook Live, and. I'm not entirely sure how that would work, but I know that whenever you go back to either the Tuesday at 7 uh, Facebook group, or if you go to Roger's Facebook page or Tim Heron's Facebook page, you'll still be able to see this video. And so you will be able to go back and just rewatch the entire video all over again. Um, I believe at some point Roger's going to upload these to the Tuesday at 7 uh, YouTube page also, so you would be able to access it that way as well. Thank you, Karen, for asking. Um, which way? Can you turn the top of your head to your right a little bit? Is it my right? Yes. Like that? Is that better? Yeah. Not your body. Go back to where you were. Tilt. Tilt it. Don't turn it. Just tilt it to your right a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like the top of your head. Yeah. Is that better? Go back to where you were. Oh, to your right. Roger, tilt your head to your right. Yeah, it's hard with the delay. Yep. Is that good?
he he did move a, a little bit more to the right. Okay, don't move your head, but move your body just a teens to your right. Sure. All right. Bye-bye. And again, for, for a newbie like me, how interesting just, you know, the, the, the small differences that a shift in position could make, you know, while the artists are, are working on this. So... That alone has has been, you know, fun for me, for lack of a better word. All right, we are at 19 minutes left for this third third session of the uh, portraits 
live portrait session. This is the second week in a row that we've done this. Uh, again, this is a special edition of Tuesday at 7 in cooperation with Tim Heron and the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists to maintain their uh, over 15 year streak of meeting on Fridays to gather together as artists of, of all types and do portraits. Um, their arrangement, which I absolutely love, is that the model for those sessions receives the original artwork, which is um, wonderful. And so again, if you are a Tuesday at 7 member, or you're new and just happen to be catching this through a friend, and you're participating in this, you can um, message Tim Heron's Facebook page with a photo of your original artwork. You could also email him at manlypad, M-A-N-L-Y-P-A-D, at sbcglobal.net. We'd also love to see your photos uh, uploaded on the Tuesday at 7 group with your your setup are you in your art studio or are you in are you in your living room are you casting to your television i'm working on my laptop um, or off my laptop and sketching on a notebook right now with an ebony pencil um, i'm drinking my water and contemplating opening some wine i'm admiring Roger sitting here and this is the most still I've ever seen him in our entire relationship so I'm enjoying this he's a very active energetic creative and so again this is a, <laughs> a big testament to how much he enjoys this uh, opportunity to work with all of you um, I know that when the pretentious portis portrait artists start meeting again. Roger's planning on going to the studio and being able to participate live. Um, I still see about 31 eyes on the, uh, what I'm seeing live on uh, my Facebook feed. I know that's not always the most accurate, um, but we hope that you've had the opportunity to check in and even if you participated just for one of the half hour sessions um, that you had an opportunity to kind of focus your mind on something creative or at least focus your mind outside of what we've all been dealing with during this time of the the 2020 pandemic who'd have thought we'd be saying something like that um this coming Tuesday, Roger will be doing a watch party uh, with uh, one or more of past interviews for Tuesday at 7. I'm just kind of checking around on the uh, Facebook pages to see if there's some other posts that I'm missing. I know everybody is, I'm just seeing such amazing artwork. Oh, Mary Therese, thank you very much for posting that. Anne Lyon posted hers. Some really, really fun stuff and just so many different styles. I can't wait to see Grace McConnell's oil. That's probably going to be gorgeous. And I 
always like seeing uh, Tim. I can't wait to see Tim's. I love the color palettes that he uses for his artwork. keep drawing. I've got my own sketch here as I delve into this portrait world, which I've certainly never participated in before. I don't know that I would have done it when I was younger if I would have been way daunted by the amount of talent and experience here. And this opportunity is just incredible. If you're hearing shrieks in the background, we have some 20-somethings in our basement and they're playing some type of game that I'm sure requires mayhem. So that's one, <laughs> just in case you're hearing that in the background. We are at uh, just over 10 minutes left in this third session. I saw you ringing through, Tim. Give me a call if you need.
Okay, we're down to about seven minutes, just over seven minutes, and then we will have one last 30-minute session. Um, thank you all for participating in this. I am super excited to see all of the wonderful portraits that are going to come out of this, the, the different styles and mediums, just absolutely going to be some more incredible artwork. Again, if you are uh, just checking in with us, in just over six minutes we'll be wrapping up this third live portrait session. It was 30 minutes long. We'll take a 15 minute break and then you'll have an opportunity for one more 30 minute live portrait session with Roger as your model. Um, I would imagine, hang on, I'm just getting text messages. Uh, because this is all on Facebook, you will be able to go back and watch this again uh, through the Tuesday at 7 Facebook group page. Please feel free to join that group. You could also go to Tim Heron's Facebook page or Roger Miller's Facebook page, and this video will still be accessible. And so if you need to go back and because you want to uh, finish up your artwork, you'll be able to do that. Um, you could also access it throughout the week so that if you weren't able to participate tonight, but you want to be able to create some art and send it to Tim Heron, either by email, manlypad at sbcglobal.net, or you can Facebook message him via his Facebook page. And then he'll be getting an album together for this second week of um, doing the pretentious Cleveland Portrait Artists studio via Facebook live stream instead of in person during the current uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So we're under five minutes now and we're all going to be uh, wrapping up this current part of um, this third session. I know there's a little bit of delay between uh, what we're doing here and what you're seeing. And then we'll take a 15 minute break, do some more chatter. Y'all get to listen to us chatter an awful lot.
Okay, we're counting down. We're just under two minutes left. And then we'll take a 15 minute break and Roger will stretch his legs. All right, but before I move, look right. at the top of my head, mm -hmm. just so we can line that back up, because I scooted up in this chair. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see the top of my head, how much room I got on top of it? Yeah, on your laptop. Well, just, it looks the same mm -hmm. as, yeah, I see it. All right. So. Okay, Are you kidding house, me? That was a really long, right there. that felt way long, like number yes. three was way longer than one and two. Number four is going to feel way longer than number three. Sorry. All That's right, what you, last all right you models. <laughs> you guys That's are superstars. I, I know. Models have it way harder oh than you realize. So but, I left the mouse right where the top of your oh, head perfect. should be. Oh, that's perfect. So. Uh, uh, I started thinking about Roger Miller songs. <laughs> I went to Dang Me. I went to Dang Me. Yeah. Dang Me. Dang Me. Uh, can't roller skate the buffalo herd. Didn't go there. I went from Dang Me to King of the Road. And Fair on enough. Every, the engineer on every train. I like it. All right, I need to stand up. Yeah. You can take my spot here. I will. I need to stand too. <laughs> mm. All right. Although at least I can wiggle around and move a little bit in between. Wiggle. 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 wiggle, wiggle. Actually, I need a snack real quick. I hope you guys are doing well. For the Tuesday at 7 crowd that's joining in for maybe the first or the second week, thank you. Debbie, I hope that you're on again this week. I know that uh, Debbie is a newer portrait drawer, new portrait artist, and... Uh, and there's a, a number of folks that are new. So thank you, Tim, and the uh, the portrait artist here. You guys are really inspiring, and uh, you give us a, an, an event to look forward to each week. And uh, the Murray Hill Life Drawing Group, how did, that, how did your drawing go? I don't remember what day is that. Is that Wednesday or Thursday? I bounced in for a few minutes and had a... I had to bounce back out, but uh, life drawing, they, I think they do f like full poses, and so it's not just a portrait drawing, but it's a full body pose, and I think they had a model who was kind of reclined in a chair this past week. Thank you for doing that too, because I love life drawing. And uh, I'm going to let Bowie out. I'll take this out. I'm going to let you out. Uh, Hi, 
so I've been making chocolate chip cookies again, like I said, as opposed to being healthy, I've been going full comfort food. So, it just looks weird to have nobody sitting in the chair in front of the wall during the break. So I think we'll start again at, um, I think quarter, 9.45, we'll, we'll start the last session. And again, we really appreciate the opportunity to work with all of you in this. It's a weird time, and any time that uh, we can have something like a new collaboration or a new opportunity come out of a crisis situation means we're doing it right. And so we appreciate all of you gathering together uh, digitally and taking the opportunity to make new friends and maybe uh, sharpen some skills, um, do something like this normally. Uh, most of you portrait artists gather together in person and I know that's been a long-standing and very enjoyable tradition and so we appreciate the opportunity to do it with you here and to facilitate being able to do it by a Facebook live stream. Um, I know Tim will reach out to all his regulars but if you are one of our new people uh, coming in and participating and you'd like to upload a photo of the artwork that you've been doing, you could also uh, email Tim at manlypad at sbcglobal.net. You can also message him on Facebook, Tim Heron, H-E-R-R-O-N. So the deal with the model for the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists is that you get the original artwork that's done of you. And I have to say that receiving the artwork that was done of me last Friday was just absolutely incredible. I can't stop looking at it. And I'm even more excited to see what's gonna be done of my husband. So that's really just exciting. And I hope that it's helping to maintain the continuity for those who normally participate, I'm totally paranoid now because I was eating a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and I hope that um, perhaps someone who does enjoy doing portraits and didn't know about this portrait group now uh, can participate going forward once this stay at home order is um, lifted. We have, um, some Tuesday at 7 watch parties coming up. Roger hasn't decided which ones he's going to highlight yet, but they're probably going to go back to the beginning of the interviews. However, if um, you should be able to access all the Tuesday at 7 videos, including the ones that were Roger doing um, just tips and um, instructions on various things, many of which uh, were for special effects makeup. So you can go to um, the Tuesday at 7 Facebook page, or you can go to Tuesday at 7 uh, on YouTube. Are you ready to sit? We still have a couple minutes. I think it's, I, I didn't see what time we finished up, and but I, I think, think we got about five minutes. Yeah, I think about 9.45 we'll start again. Because there's probably folks out there that are like us, or they need to get up and stretch around too. Yep. Ugh. It's Friday night. Friday night? It's the last Friday of March in 2020, and I don't even know how to feel about that. That whole in like a lion, out like a lamb thing is not uh, not working for, <laughs> for this year. Although I am super grateful that the weather has been so mild, at least here in Ohio. I don't know about the rest of the country, but um, the, the fact that there have been a few days we could open the windows and the doors and go for walks and uh, we've been, I've been going outside and picking up all the sticks that have blown out uh, throughout the winter and being able to do that throughout all of this has definitely been positive. I can't imagine if this was a polar vortex year. We're turning um, over the garden, or at least yeah. we have so far. Yeah, I started my baby seeds, so um, I, I was a little late getting my seeds started 
uh, for the garden, but it's Ohio and we probably won't plant till mid May anyway, because every time we think it's just about, like usually around Mother's Day, we start getting the itch to plant. And then there's that one more cold day and we're like, oh no, we should wait. So I think those seedlings will still be okay to get started late May. And um, so we'll plant the garden and that'll be something to look forward to. Are you, are you kind of mi monitoring from your not, page? Not right now. I know, not right now. Obviously, you're sitting there, but I'm talking about because there's uh, mostly from the Tuesday at seven. Oh, from the Tuesday at seven page. page. Okay. And then I bump into the video, and then I'll go to the Tuesday at seven because the the comments that are actually on the Tuesday at seven page I can't see versus the comments that are happening on the video. So mostly I'm seeing the comments on the video, and then I'll bump out of the video and go to the Tuesday at seven page. Yeah. So there's been a lot of comments. There's been a lot of already gorgeous artwork posted. Uh, there are a few people who participated in the first couple sessions and then said, okay, I'm done. Thank you very much. Um, and so they've already submitted their at least yeah. initial photos of their artwork. Um, so it looks great. The cool part about this is like, we don't have grandchildren yet. Our no. children are grand. We're not grandparents yet, no. but in 2030 and 2050, people can look back and our grandkids could draw us. That's true. And so that'll be, that's kind of a, a weird thing yeah, to I think that, that. Yeah. That will be kind of weird. Especially when I'm grizzled <laughs> <laughs> more so than I am today. <laughs> they they'll don't be like, of that. they'll be like, uh, <laughs> pops. <laughs> Your wife is a lot younger than right. you. <laughs> Did you guys see an eye roll? <laughs> Let me do that again. Oh, four years. I'm four years younger. That's okay. I'm 14 decade. years younger. I'm All right. To, um, to we got a couple minutes. Yeah. So, what I did that last time is mm -hmm. I was, I could tell on my back, yeah. I screwed it up. That's why I, oh, I, that's why I my butt went back. You and like so, that's and why then. you had to raise the camera. Gotcha. So when you look at the top of my head there, I'll make sure that I'm at the right. At the same, yeah. I think I, that's what I struggled with last time too. You sit upright so daintily and I like <laughs> lean back and yeah, something like that. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to go We're going to get ready for this last one. Time. I hope you guys are doing well. This is a, uh, this is probably not enough time for, for, some of the veteran artists now, how does, how does this collar look? And the reason I say Don't that. touch it. I, You'll mess it up. People have been drawing it the way. No, it, I'm trying to straighten it to, so to put it back the way that it was because it gets all twisty. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it. All right, you got a minute or so. Hang on, because Tim left a comment. Watercolor and iPad art by Janet Dodrell. Thank you. You guys have wow. noticed I haven't touched wow. my face. Janet, those are great. I, like that. I can't believe how quickly people keep like out that you. artwork. I mean, they, they just are like, look, I made a masterpiece. Um, Jesse says he had us on mute last time, so I didn't realize we were married. <laughs> Jim Karras says you're doing a good job sitting. That's not Jim, that's Debbie. That's Debbie. She uh, she sends it under her on her oh, husband. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry, Debbie. Hey, Debbie, did you get the Deb Sherrill art pour? Let us know. Post a photo of that too. Love to see it. The Tuesday at seven family want to see that uh, Deb Sherrill artwork. Oh yes. Did she? Yeah. All right. Did, look at the top of my head, Beth. Um. All right. Hang on. I'm not in the live because I was trying to check the comments. You're ready to sit. All right. I know, but we're a couple minutes. See, I moved the mouse. That's a perfect idea, too. I know. All right, Tim. 
Let me know. Oh, um, Deb says that she did get it. The Debbie got Deb Cheryl. Yep. <laughs> no, Dwayne, he didn't get to England swings like a pendulum do. <laughs> I'd like this session because it's going to be a long one. Oh. All right, Tim, give me a call or let me know if he needs to move. I know that we're a couple minutes behind. I feel like I'm sitting differently in this chair. Roger's concerned that he's feeling a little differently. I just have to know whether I scoop my butt back or not. It looks, it feels like it's very correct to me. There he is. I was just about to call him. I wonder if those boys are drinking our beer downstairs because they're making runs to the back and like crazy. A little higher? Yeah. Okay, he just sat up a little bit more. Okay. Huh? All right, let me move up. Okay, let me, let me, I know it'll take a moment or two. Let me know if that's good. That's good? All right, feel free to let us know if you need them to move. So we are finishing up, uh, well, we're at the front end of the last 30-minute portrait session for this Friday. It is March 27th, and we are um, working with the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists and Tim Heron to... Um, kind of maintain that continuity of their 15-year uh, stretch of getting together and doing portraits. And we really appreciate the opportunity for uh, this collaboration and helping them with this.
Hello. Tilt forward a little bit. Oh yeah, just tilt your head just a tease. Yep. Is that good? Yeah. That's better? Okay. Great, thank you. So we appreciate your patience. That's uh, whenever you hear the phone ringing and me taking those instructions, that's Tim helping us know if um, the, the position is being skewed at all. Please feel free if um, while we're doing this, you notice a distinct movement that is uh, creating difficulties for you, uh, leave a comment. One of us is always, um, even while we're sketching or doing our own artwork, we're keeping an eye on the video and the comments. And so we're happy to make those adjustments because we want this to be as continuous as possible for your artwork. All right, we are at 20 minutes left, um, plus possibly a little bit of margin for error since this is the last session um, for the night. Again, the videos will be accessible on Facebook, so if you aren't done by the time we wrap this up you can stay in the Tuesday at 7 group you'll continue being able to access the video once we've finished you'll also be able to access it through Tim Heron's Facebook page or Roger Miller's Facebook page um, last week and this week 
I don't know when these will get uploaded to the YouTube page. They're a bit longer. I don't know how long that takes exactly. Um, if you need to, um, we, we certainly enjoy seeing the photos of your work in progress or your finished work being posted on the Tuesday at 7 Facebook group. But if you could email a photo to Tim Heron at manlypad at sbcglobal.net or you could send it to him via Facebook Messenger. Um, he'll also contact people, probably most of the regulars, about collecting the original artwork so that Roger has that uh, forever and ever. We love seeing the pieces. They look amazing on the computer monitor. They look so much better in person. And Roger and Tim will be in touch with each other throughout the week, I'm sure, to talk about next Friday. And um, any improvements that we can make as we figure out how to best do this to maintain for the portrait artists themselves.
So we are under 15 minutes left. And this is the last half hour portrait session. And it has just continued to be an absolute treat to work with all of you remotely. Um, looking forward to the next chance that we get to do this next Friday. And we continue to hope that uh, you and your families all stay well and able to connect and to communicate with each other during this interesting and historic time that we're all in right now. Your nose and my pencil just do not want to cooperate with each other. Of course, I'll have an eraser or a white pencil with me.
Right, we are at under seven minutes, and then we will be wrapping up this second session participating in the Pretentious Cleveland Portrait Artists Port Friday night session. A special Tuesday at 7 collaboration with Tim Heron and this group. And we are incredibly excited to see all of the gorgeous artwork that is going to come out of this. And if you are a newer artist, uh, whether you reached this through Roger or my Facebook page or Tuesday at 7, um, the people, many of the people from the portrait group have been doing this for 15 years. Um, please don't feel daunted. Please participate and, and share your artwork, whether you're posting it to Tuesday at 7 group or Roger's Facebook page. Um, you you got to start somewhere, and we can all do it, and, and it's just practice makes perfect. I've been trying to be inspired by this, and I've been doing a little bit of sketching every day in between all of the other things trying to do during this time of uh, stay-at-homeness. And I'm trying to not be shy about sharing it, whether I show it to Roger or I post it somewhere, uh, because I know that that's the only thing to do with it. And so um, it's, it's been fun to be inspired by this group and by the talent and the perspective and the different styles uh, coming out of what we're seeing. I'm not seeing very many comments, so I would imagine part of that is because everybody is scrambling to get as close to done as possible in this time frame. Uh, remember that you will be able to access this. I'm sure many of you know this, but you'll be able to go on to this video throughout the week uh, if you want to finish up some details. It'll be accessible from the Tuesday at 7 group, from Tim Heron's Facebook page, from Roger's Facebook page.
not good at the detailing. Again, I'm still kind of learning how to do this, and I think I need to put my pencil down before I frustrate myself. <laughs> we are at the three minute mark, and then we'll be wrapping up this evening's session. Thank you, Debbie. You have a good night, too.